Okay, I'm at the farmer's market here in Newburgh, and we are displaying our mushrooms. And another thing we're displaying is sea beans. Sea beans grow in the bay on the Oregon coast in a lot of areas too, um, in other states. But uh, this recipe is called Sea Bean Shiitake Delight, and it's a great recipe for um, a garnish to put over steaks, just a side garnish, something to put over potatoes, rice, pastas. It's, it's awesome. So anyway, there's a recipe here. And we started the pan, so I'm going to throw some oil in it, and we'll talk a little bit more about the recipe. So it's a good idea to have lemon oil, but if you don't have lemon oil, some olive oil, a couple tablespoons. And make sure you have plenty of lemon, though, because the lemon is really what gives it the good flavor. I might add some more, but for now, I'm just going to put in the four ounces of sea beans. That's a quarter pound of sea beans. And there's a lot of smoke there. It's a little easier to cook in the pan at home, but this definitely works too. Just a little smoky, okay. I think I'm gonna probably put some more oil in there. We're gonna see how that is, but we'll go according to smell and taste. All right, another thing that we do is we throw in a half a pound of shiitake mushroom. This is a quarter pound per clamshell. So of course, quarter pound times two is a half a pound. So now you have a quarter pound of sea bean, half a pound of shiitake. There's a little wind here, so I'm gonna adjust the tablecloth so we don't wind up with a fire. I hope that helps. Oop, we lost the shiitake, that's okay. We still got plenty left in here. Okay, we're gonna cook this pretty good. And one of the things we're gonna do is add some garlic. According to this recipe, we need two tablespoons of garlic, minced garlic. And what I do is I just like to estimate, so I'm gonna throw in two heaping teaspoons, I think maybe even a little more. So we'll go with that for now. So basically two tablespoons of garlic and a quarter teaspoon. Oh, okay, maybe a full teaspoon of pepper. This recipe has been improvised a little bit according to uh, the person who types it. Um, I think I started with a little more pepper and then they took the, the, the pepper away. So when you make this recipe, you might decide it's a little too spicy or a little bit uh, less spicy. So the, the timing and the length of time you cook this is pertinent because you have to cook the sea beans down all the way where it's crispy, but it's not like so, you know, extremely soggy. Okay, it's still pretty dry, so I'm gonna throw in some more oil. And that's a lot of oil, so I'm definitely gonna throw in a lot of lemon. That looks a lot better, a lot wetter. And again, it's gonna be done when the mushrooms are not only cooked through, but the sea beans, it's really important to see that the sea beans are gonna kinda of have like a, almost like a crispy french fry on the outside, but very well cooked on the inside. And then, again, it's ready to use as just a side dish, almost like a spinach um, kind of side dish, or you can put it over your steak, or you can put it over your potatoes. And this is almost like a potato chip. It's, it kinda of has that addicting salty flavor, but sea salt's better for you than um, regular salt. Matter of fact, I've heard it's actually really good for you to have uh, sea salt. Um, but you can check with your doctor about that. But um, it, it's it's definitely an easy dish that well, once you start eating the sea beans, you almost want to keep eating it and eating it. So I'd make plenty. Make sure there's plenty to put on your plate. Oh, it's great over fish. Very good over fish if you're a seafood eater. I 
made this uh, recipe. I gave this recipe to a wedding party who they were making salmon as their main dish and it was a big hit. Okay, again, that's sea bean shiitake delight. Um, you can vis visit us on our website, wholeearthharvest.com. We are also Misty Mountain Mushroom and we still are, we're kind of in transition because we sell mushrooms, but we're also trying to expand um, for food from many areas on the Earth Whole Earth Harvest. You know, that's the name. So I hope you enjoy it.